right, babies, it's that time again. Oh, yeah. And if you'll notice, I'm wearing my graduation shirt. <laughs> no, I did not graduate. We have eighth graders graduating into ninth grade, and we have ninth, uh, 12th graders graduating into the rest of their lives. Uh, I'm also leaving at a different time of day. It's later in the day, so traffic is crazier than normal. We are in da -da -da -da, Luke 4. In Luke 4, we see Jesus being tempted of Satan. It doesn't say the devil, it says Satan. Um, after his baptism, so Jesus is said to be full of the Holy Spirit, goes into the wilderness, Satan tries to get him off track and to reverse his allegiance from God to Satan. And Jesus quotes scripture to him Except the last time. He does it three times. I noticed this. Never noticed it before. The first time he says, it is written. The second time he says, it is written. And then the third time he says, it has been said. Oh yeah, baby. I think that's, I think that's interesting. I think that's interesting. And the reason I think that's interesting is because um, there's a value in what releases us, what we have empirical data that reflects why we're being released from something. So, in a couple cases, Jesus is using written words. And in another one, he's using some kind of oral <clears throat> tradition. But in either case, the reason he's doing it as he's staying true to what has been revealed to be of use in advancing life, the kingdom of God. So that's that. Um, so yeah, so... <clears throat> Supposedly for 40 days, who knows? <clears throat> this goes on, and so <clears throat> Jesus finishes the test <clears throat> successfully and moves on to his ministry. Because now that he's passed the test, he is full of life and the Spirit of God and ready to go. So he goes into the synagogue and reads from Isaiah saying, the good news is preached to the poor and the lame walk and the blind see. And Jesus says, this scripture is being fulfilled in your hearing. I generally think when Jesus is either saying or doing something that is odd, controversial, challenging the existing authority, I feel, 
I feel good that he actually did those things. It's just the way he is. <laughs> in fact, if you notice in your life, the Spirit of God coming upon you and influencing you to do things that are against the traditional religious grain and you feel like you have power, life, and joy in doing them, yeah, that's Jesus, baby. So they get all upset that he's uh, claiming to be who he is. And so now they want to kill him, of course. And they try to throw him off a cliff, but he escapes somehow. Um, then it goes through different scenarios of God using him in powerful ways, healing people and releasing people of demonic oppression. And there you have it. So what do we take from all this? We take from it that these are likely to be things Jesus actually did. And that because we align ourselves with him, we should expect similar reaction from people when we are operating in the spirit. Now, operating in the spirit, that's a big one, right? Because sometimes you'll be like the, you'll be like the disciples were. Lord, we can't... Uh, can't get this demon out of this person what's the problem in those cases I would say it's either not the time not the place or whoever's doing the ministering isn't ready and by ready I'm referring to like Jesus made himself ready by passing some tests. And when he passed the tests, he was ready to demonstrate his authority. I think it's a similar thing with us. So unfortunately, you have to figure out in your own life what those tests are and see how you're doing. <laughs> and, uh, Luckily, there, there is a makeup exam. There are several makeup exams. So, yeah, keep that in mind. Stay, uh, stay focused. Um, and whenever I talk about miracles, I, I always want to bring attention to the fact that both in the Bible, I think, and in our own lives, we can attest to the fact that there are other powers other than Jesus that will try to mimic or bring about similar results that the Spirit of God does. So we need to be <clears throat> tuned into that likelihood and make sure we stay aligned with what the Spirit of God is doing to set us personally free and not be so quick to agree with something you see is releasing someone else because it 
might not be God doing the work. All right, babies.